My first Viking war horn is now done. So what I did yesterday was sandpaper it, clean it. I uh, cut off the tip, drilled this hole, which was super hard because this material was way harder than I thought. Uh, and for this first horn, I actually decided to try it out. So I drilled it so it could, I could fit a duduk mouthpiece. Uh, and then also play it naturally, so I can change the sound depending on what I need for my track. So a Duduk mouthpiece uh, sounds like this. Okay, almost horn-like, but very high in pitch. Now, listen what happens when I put it in the hole here and try this. Uh, hybrid Viking uh, Armenian Duduk war horn. It sounds like this. I can also put my hand here and adjust the sound and try to do some things with my lips here on the uh, reed. So that sounds super loud and very bassy from the reed. But uh, the other way I would play it is just remove the Duduk mouthpiece and try bussing it here without any brass mouthpiece, just this tip. It's not rounded too well here, I may do that later, but right now I just put my hand like this to shape more round brass type embouchure mouthpiece. And then uh, try to learn the brass embouchure, you know, the bussing of the lips, which is super hard. I have never played any brass instruments before, but prepare yourself because this is how it sounds like when you play a Viking war horn naturally, as a beginner, mind you, but this is how I can sound it for now. <laughs> makes me my head uh, dizzy but that's my first viking war horn the other one i'm working on is of equal size but i drilled the hole slightly narrower so i can put on a fugal horn mouthpiece i think uh, for this size uh, of horn so that's what i've been working on yesterday and today and i will update you with more sound design and instrument projects in the future my brand new Nordic Viking music artist project. I'll see you in the next video, my friends.